Oh, here we are, out in Front Street, another adorable adoptable. Her name is Chloe. We've kind of nicknamed her Old Yeller. Bobby, if you had to guess, age, did it say? Uh, we have her listed about six to seven years old. Well, she's not too old at all then. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like you know she's had a bit of a rough life growing yeah. up. We're assuming that she was probably an outdoor dog. Uh, looks like she's dealing with a little bit of flea allergy dermatitis, uh, which we call FAD here. Uh, possibly from flea bites and also probably from having a very poor diet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's got some uh, of the marking and the uh, you can see it air on loss on her, but look at her. Very great attitude, great disposition. She walked well on the leash over here. Yeah, she's been amazing. She gets along well with other dogs. We've had her since about May 14th. Uh, typically, before we put up dogs for adoption, we want to make sure that we clear them medically and behaviorally. Uh, and so she's on our adoption floor, and now she's looking for a forever home. Uh, if, if they didn't catch that, May 14th, uh, you can see the calendar. She's been here a while, so the least you can do is come down. Like we always say, even if it's not the right dog for you, uh, get her out, meet her, and then look at the other dogs here. And uh, not only is she free this week with uh, the, the neutering spay, which she's older, so I'm guessing that she's already right. fixed. Mm -hmm. um, Chip, vaccinated, everything ready to go. Um, but all the dogs in Front Street right now because you guys, again, are a little full. Right. So everything's free for how long? Free adoption. So right now, it's until further notice, we have about 300 animals on property. Oh. Uh, it is a, a very busy time of year for us. We also have a ton of kittens coming in, so we're looking for kitten fosters as well. But two things we're doing. One, we're waiving our adoption fees here. Two, if you think your pet is here, we're allowing people to also reclaim their pets for free because we want to make room. Walk in, get them, that easy. Yeah, we're going to make sure we license them for you. We'll fix them for free for you. Uh, this is not including uh, investigation cases or medical cases. Sure. So if those are going on, then obviously we're going to have a deeper conversation. But if Fido just got out because the fence got left open, come on down. We don't want to discourage you from getting your dog because of money. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. awesome. Uh, not to take anything away from Chloe, a.k.a. Old Yeller, <laughs> uh, let's recap the first annual Brewfest. Yes. That was fun. Yes, it was, man. Well, you know firsthand. You guys were emceeing the thing. What would you guys think? Uh, I loved it. I, 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 I honestly... I could have went any better, honestly. Absolutely loved it. There was no uh, uh, line, really, to speak of with getting a beer. The beer was cold. The glasses were small, as they are at all tasting. Yeah, yeah, right. every but time. to get in line... The street was was narrow, but everyone had a good time and everything flowed. And I know you, you guys here at Front Street, and you too, Bobby. You guys want to go about two or three thousand more people next year. Yeah. So you know, we we thought about throwing a little small get together on Front Street. We ended up having forty breweries that were interested. Yeah. Uh, we thought maybe we would have you know fifteen hundred people. We actually had about three thousand people. Yes. About twenty five hundred actually showed up. Yeah. Uh, and so it was amazing. So we had great sponsorships, including working with you guys and iHeart, which we're very grateful for. Yeah. Uh, we had Finding Rover, our premier sponsor, yeah. Redtail Technology. So a lot of organizations locally help us put on the event. But with that and ticket sales, we were able to gross over a hundred thousand dollars. Oh wow. my gosh! That's I was going to awesome. ask you what kind of money. And and for wow. Chloe here that has this flea allergy or this this light case of whatever's going on, yeah. All that money that you raise, this is the stuff you spend it on. Right. I mean, it really is. I mean, if our goal is to have life-saving missions, the reality is it costs money to help save lives. And yeah. so, you know, things like this, getting uh, blood tests done, spending time with our veterinarians, getting spayed, all of that costs a lot of money. Yeah. And so when we're raising funds like this at fundraisers, it's going to direct life impact and things like that. It is so cool. And we can't wait again next year. We're going to do another one, right? Yep, we're going to yeah. run it back. And it was fantastic. And I, I think that it was just... It, it was that perfect blend of we had shade, yeah. the music was good, it was light, it wasn't too big, it was just a great, great day. We got lucky food, with the weather, too. The weather was phenomenal. Around. Yeah. It was yeah. Parking food was trucks. easy to get into, it was fantastic. And we had the best MCs in town, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know who those guys were. Yeah, then Dog and Joe showed up. <laughs> yeah, they ruined that. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a great, uh, great success. And I think that's very cool. 100000 bucks. Yeah. That is wow. so awesome yeah, to hear. It really is. That. It really is. So, Dana will post the code. If you want to see Chloe, you can come on down. She's available. She's been here a while. She is a little older. But you can see her attitude and her demeanor. She'll make a great couch dog. And, and this is easy to clear up, I right, Bobby? Say, yeah, a little bit of medicine with this, and she'll be clear in, in no time. Yeah, so Maybe a grain-free diet. Absolutely you know? right. So I think a lot of it is probably the quality of care she received. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people think once a dog ends up in the pound, it's only downhill. Well, 
we're going to make sure that she gets the home she deserves and the care she deserves. Hey, do, do you guys, can you guys give instruction or direction for people if they were interested to come down and like what to feed them and help them through that process? Yeah, absolutely. So when people do come down and adopt, it's not a drive through service. We make sure that people are uh, linked up with an adoption counselor who's going to pull the dog out for you, look up at all the medical notes. We have all the behavioral notes, talk to you about your family, your lifestyle, if you have other pets and help really coach you to success because our goal is not just to get them out of the shelter. You don't want them to come them. back. You don't want them to come back. Yeah. Exactly once is right. enough. Once is enough. I like that. That's fun. Yeah. Once is enough. So there you go. Dana will have everything posted. Bobby again down here at Front Street Animal Shelter. Another Thursday. Chloe, a.k.a. Old Yeller. She's ready to go to Montreux, a.k.a. today. Yeah. Come down and take her home. In there. Uh, but thank you. Right. Thanks for having us.